2009 was the best of times and the worst of times. I was promoted to regional training manager, but six months later, my wife was diagnosed with a rare brain disease that took her life. Then a neurologist noticed my tremor and diagnosed me with Parkinson's disease. I felt hopeless and lost. I decided to go to Colorado to ski, be in nature, and just think. Wouldn't you know, I get on the chairlift and the man sitting next to me is a doctor. He asked how I was. I told him, I've just been diagnosed with Parkinson's. And then he says, that's too bad. It's a terrible disease and people die from it. Are you kidding me? Thank God I found Parkinson Voice Project. I've been in the program for 11 years. Yes, I said 11 years. And guess what? I'm still alive. My voice is stronger than ever. I'm singing in a choir. I don't have any swallowing issues. I've made friends that have turned my Parkinson's disease from a curse into a blessing. I even got remarried. I tell you, everything's coming up roses. know the international symbol of Parkinson's is actually the tulip? I think the song should be everything's coming up tulips. Being a part of Parkinson Voice Project has not only helped me manage and live with Parkinson's 
but has also given me an opportunity to be a part of something exciting, something big that is helping people and making a difference in this world. I joined the Parkinson Voice Advocates, a volunteer group that works directly with the CEO and the staff. In May of this year, we launched our campaign to reach America. Our campaign to reach America is a $20 million project that is going to make our Speak Out and Loud Crowd program accessible to people with Parkinson's across the United States. That includes the homebound, those who may not have transportation, those who live in nursing facilities or assisted living communities, those who live in rural communities and don't have a clinic nearby, and even those who do not have insurance. In 2023, we will start establishing therapy and research centers across America, one in each state. These centers will be housed within university speech therapy clinics. They will treat people with Parkinson's and conduct research on speech and swallowing issues. Our goal is to give every person with Parkinson's access to speak out and the loud crowd, just like all of these people who are in the program now.
Parkinson Voice Project has already raised over $10 million for the campaign. With your help this holiday season, we are confident that we can meet our $20 million goal. diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2009, I had no idea what to expect for the future. Parkinson Voice Project taught me to live and speak with intent. I want all of you with Parkinson's to have this same opportunity. In just a moment, you're going to hear 445 people with Parkinson's and their families singing, We Find Our Voice. After the song, we encourage you and your family to talk about how you can help Parkinson Voice Project reach its $20 million goal. There are many ways to help. The first and foremost, tell others about Parkinson Voice Project and share this video. Go to our website and make a donation. Start a fundraiser. Donate stock or make an IRA charitable gift. Together, we can help every person across America find their voice. After we reach America, we can reach the world. So 
place we found when we've lost our way, where we can fly again and start to sing. There's a place we go where we can make a choice to strengthen heart and mind and voice. With a heart of like my soul, the journeys do don't know where to go. Words are shaking.